What's up you guys, MC here. I wanna show you guys a knife I recently purchased and hopefully you'll think it's as cool as I do. Get out of here, screwdriver. So, um, I already unboxed it, so I'm gonna show you what we got in the box and I'll show you the knife. It is the Demon Barber from Williamson Copenhagen. Now this is my first knife from this company, so I'm curious to see how it does. Now, in the box, they gave us a nice little Velcro patch that's pretty cool. They gave us this really oddly sharp pivot tool in this little bag. And I don't know if you can see the damage to this thing right here, but that damage is from this tool and it did gouge my knife. So Williamson Copenhagen, if you're gonna ship this little sharp guy, put a rubber tip on him, put him in a better bag, or put the knife in a better pouch. Very disappointing to get a brand new product and see that a detail like that was overlooked and a brand new knife is gouged okay now I'm gonna review this product like it didn't come gouged because let's assume this is a one-off and I just got unlucky okay so this is the Williamson Copenhagen Demon Barber now mine is carbon fiber not mine this is the only version I saw of this by the way carbon fiber I have to assume these are stainless steel because they didn't say titanium, and I think they would have both said about that if they were titanium. Okay, but the blue is nice. Nice reversible wire pocket clip for you lefties out there. Okay, it's a fairly thick knife because the liners are not nested, but they are flush. So that's nice, and there's some chamfering on the edges of the uh, scales here, and that works out. Looks good, feels good. Carbon fiber looks good. I'm not even going to try to show you the gouges. They don't show up very well. So let's just skip that. That way I don't look like I'm just whining. So it's a 14C28N PVD coated blade. Three deployments on it. The front flipper, the thumb stud, and the thumb hole. Okay. So I'm going to start here. And there is the blade, you guys. Now, I would... I hardly ever do black coated blades. I just don't like them. But it's the only version of this one I saw. And I do like razor style EDC knives. So that's what I went with. Now, one thing here, and again, trust me on this one, Williamson Copenhagen. This is a ton of billboarding on a really small blade. I know you guys don't want to put your company logo there and the name of the knife, but this is a lot of billboarding on a really small blade and that's going to be unpopular okay it's a liner lock but you do have to be careful because because of the size of that choil and where the liner actually sits see if i can show you this without doing it to myself again that point is super sharp and it wants to go right there where those two little pokey spots are on my finger see it i did that so I've been really hesitant to close it. I've been really careful. But anyway, top flipper works really well. Thumb stud oh, works even better. And then the, they call it a thumb slot. He works pretty well too. The action isn't phenomenal. It is a small blade. It is cool. The thumb stud is definitely the best for me or I get the audible feedback okay front flipper does well enough um, I can get that back thumb stud but I don't like where my finger ends up when I do that so I don't really mess with it in that way either okay I think it's four and a half inches long on the handle two and a half inch blade um, I can get more of the top and that's nice too that's rare for me to be able to get them over the top like that but if you have longer fingers, you'll definitely be able to get him over the top. Detent is a little light, but it's not terrible. I said it's a little light, but it's not bad. The lockup, lockup is solid. No blade play, no lock rock, none of that. Um, what do you say? 30, 35% on the lockup, maybe a little less maybe 30 but anyway I really like the knife 
Uh, like I said, I wish they hadn't packaged it with that tool. I kind of gouged it up. I wish they would make it. Eh, the thickness isn't bad. The jimping, that's useless. That's utterly useless, guys. That low a jimping, because no one's coming down here to cut with this knife. Everyone's going to be right here. Or, and I learned this from I think Dirk Pinkerton's knives. That is for fine cutting like that. I learned that from a Dirk Pinkerton uh, review of a knife. At least that's what he said. Again, there are some things that could have been done better. There are some things that definitely could have been done worse. It's unique. I think it's $75. And I only saw these at Williamson Copenhagen themselves, which if you're in the USA, that might be tough to order from and expensive. Uh, Atlantic Knife is where I got mine. And like I said, I wish I could show you guys a better picture of the gouges they're not they're not game changing like they don't ruin the knife uh, oh there we go there it is see it and it's not deep but it's just disappointing to pay for a brand new knife especially when you pay for really nice looking scales like this carbon fiber you're paying for that aesthetic and that look and that smooth clean look that's definitely a disappointment. So anyway, you guys tell me what you think of it. This is the Demon Barber. Uh, Williamson Copenhagen, my first. I'll try to find out and post if I figure out who OEMs their knives. But as of right now, I do not know. It did say it was 14C28N on the blade. Here we go. I'm going to show you this real quick. Okay. Ball bearings, reversible pot clip, 14C28 in. So, that's all I've got on this one. You guys tell me what you think about it. I think it's a really cool knife. I really wish they'd make this in a stone wash blade. Williamson Copenhagen, don't ship it with this stupid tool. We all have tools. Save it and don't gouge up my knife. Also, dump all this billboarding. There's no need for all that on such a small blade. I promise. If you think I'm wrong, look around the internet, especially this, man, that's like just flat out advertising billboard. <laughs> okay, guys, don't do that to your blades. Put the name down here, put the steel right here, leave it alone. Let the knife speak for itself. You, have, you make this cool of a knife, people will know. You don't need to plaster your name all over it. People will seek it out. Okay, I'm MC, you guys. Tell me what you think of the Williamson Copenhagen Demon Barber, and I'll talk to you soon, y'all.